Neighbors are on edge in Centennial Hills after a party ends with arrests involving stolen cars. And here's a picture of that investigation. And you know us. We hear about this. We want to get to the bottom of it. Tom George went out there. Tom. And I also talked with a high schooler at the house in question. He says he had no idea new friends he invited over may have been involved in stealing cars. When the Kanyas family moved to Centennial Hills, they were hoping for a safer neighborhood. You would think that stuff wouldn't be happening, and then for it to be happening right next door uh, was kind of shocking. But even Gates can't keep everyone out. We were just sitting here at breakfast, and then I just saw some guy running in the yard. Veronica Kanya said she saw a guy jump this wall and climb into this treehouse. She panicked and called her dad. It's kind of scary and a little weird, like you wouldn't expect it. I thought it was just kids playing around, so I told her, well, just throw the, back, the dog in the backyard to scare him away. But it was more than that. Multiple squad cars flooding their street. There's police cars. There's a helicopter. So at that point, I ended up leaving work and coming straight here. It turns out investigators say there were stolen cars parked at the house next door from a party the night before. When cops showed up, surveillance video shows one person taking off. Keyshawn Brown lives at the home with his mom and says he didn't know the people at the party that well. I would never put myself in a stolen vehicle. I was just stupid. Brown says he was arrested along with several others, but was released when they realized he wasn't involved. But neighbors are still worried. They say there's been a spike in crime lately, and this recent issue has caused tension. Well, they shouldn't be out in the streets or at anybody's house partying at that time. We teenagers, we, we chill on the front porch, plug up our phones and just talk. And I guess they don't like that. Brown just wants them to realize they have more in common than they think. He wants his neighborhood safe too. We all make a few decisions few bad decisions in our life, but we're human. It's going to happen. So I just want to let people know, like, I'm not, the, I'm not the guy you think I am. I'm better than that. Now, as for the students involved in this, although this is Metro's case, CCS Deeps uh, police say they've also been made aware of the situation, but so far they're not aware of any disciplinary action against any students at this point. Tom George, 13 Action News.